From here, we can see temporoparitalis, the occipital belly of the occipitofrontalis, sternocleidomastoid, splenius capitis, levator scapulae. We start to see the scalenes, posterior, middle, anterior. And then you get a much better view of the trapezius here. So trapezius, your traps. We have upper, middle, and lower trapezius. You'll remember this is the spine of the scapula. So if this is the spine of the scapula, deep to this would be supraspinatus. That makes this right here infraspinatus. We have teres minor, teres major. Obviously deltoid is here, muscle of the shoulder. This would be triceps. And then the trapezius, again, big muscle of the upper back. Big muscle of the lower back is going to be latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi. Think of dorsal, like the dorsal fin of the shark. It's on the back. Coming around just a little bit anterior here, we can see the scalenes. We start to see a little bit of external oblique through here. And if we go just a little bit lower, we're getting into the muscles of the hip. So this would be gluteus medius gluteus maximus. But these are the muscles of the back. When I remove this portion of the torso and we look at some of the muscles that we have here, we'll do these one at a time. So what we have here in the chest, the large muscle of the chest would be pectoralis major. In fact, if I turn this on the side a little bit, you can see pec major right there, same muscles you see here. If this is pec major, then this is pectoralis minor. Deep to that would be the serratus anterior muscles. Serratus anterior muscles are these finger-like muscles that come and almost, it looks like they grab the sides of the ribs there. If I turn this around, so we look inside now, we have the costa, which would be the ribs, that makes these the intercostal muscles. And again, because this is external, little bit right there, you'd see a little bit of external intercostals. But on the inside here, it's much easier to see the internal intercostals. Remember, this is gonna be the region of the thorax or where your lungs are. In fact, what you can see right here when I remove that is the area where the heart is gonna occupy and then the cavities that the lungs would sit within. And again, inside here, you would see pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, and then serratus anterior. This dome-shaped muscle underneath here is the diaphragm. If we get a little bit further down into muscles of the legs, you can start to see psoas major. You can see iliacus here as well. And then this layer right here, along this region, is actually what you're seeing. Again, if I take this and show you here, it's what you're seeing right through here. And these are the muscles that again, help to protect our abdominal region. So we have rectus abdominis, rectus abdominis. Rectus means straight, abdominis, because it's the region of the abdominal cavity. Sometimes you've heard it as the six pack. That's what this is here. We have the rectus sheath that kind of lays over that. And then starting right here, we have the external oblique. External, because it's on the outside, oblique, it comes in on an angle. If I show you right here in the middle there, that would be internal oblique, internal oblique. So these fascicles are coming this way. Internal oblique, you can imagine the fascicles coming this way. And then on the inside here, we have transversus abdominis. Transversus abdominis, that's the third layer. External oblique, internal oblique, and transversus abdominis going across the abdominal region.